Hey Aquarius and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your love reading for the uh, 6th of May through the 12th, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, I, I will pull your energy first, then your cross watchers. So we got the moon here with the high priestess. And the five of cups in reverse. Your guys' outcome for the week in love, Aquarius. The Wheel of Fortune, nice. What is Aquarius's? Thank you. All right, the Nine of Swords in reverse and Temperance in the upright. Are you connecting with a Sagittarius, most possibly? Could be. All right, your guys' bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, clarified by the Ten of Cups in reverse, and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. All right, let me get you all straightened out here. I'm going to tip you down. All right. So your guys' is, um, you're, you're feeling like you're not wanting to um, <clears throat> nurture this relationship anymore, Aquarius. Uh, not wanting to... Oops. Not wanting to... Uh, you're just wanting to focus on yourself, really, um, for a lot of you. Not wanting to worry about, uh, yeah. You're just wanting to find balance in your life again. You're not wanting to worry about anybody else. You just want to go with the flow. You want to um, concentrate on yourself and not have to continuously mother a home, mother a relationship, or, you know, that mothering energy, having to take care of everything, making sure everything's okay between somebody. Um, you're just really feeling drained after coming out of a situation uh, that took a lot out of you. Yeah. So you're really um, going within and seeing where it is that you even want to invest your time in anybody. You don't want to invest anywhere right now, Aquarius, for some of you, because you don't know where you want to invest. So this is really just figuring out what you want to do and where you want to move now that you are completing this Ten of Cups, now that you are completing the cycle with that draining energy that is bringing you down. Uh, you have the Ace of Pentacles here in reverse. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here in reverse for Aquarius? Yeah. So you're not, this person broke your heart. So you're not sure if you want to invest in them. You're not sure if you want to take them back. You're not sure if you want to give them a second chance. Yeah, there could be some, you know, some great, there could be a great new um, start here, a new beginning, but you're not quite sure if you even trust this person, if you even want to give this person that opportunity until your heart is completely healed. Why is the moon here? Oops, way too many. Why is the moon here for Aquarius? Yeah, you're no longer even putting up a fight. You're just wanting balance and you want the karmic scales to balance out. You want to find balance within yourself. You want to feel normal again. You want to um, just allow this uh, relationship to come to an end. To, you know, let the karmic scales balance out. And you're no longer fighting. You're no longer, you're just walking away. Um, you're finding peace within yourself when you walk away. Uh, you have the high priestess here next. So you are really um, listening to your intuition, tuning in, working on yourself, working on uh, your inner guide, working with your inner guide, and just transforming into a beautiful um, new version of yourself because you went soul searching. You um, could be connecting to the moon um, with moon magic. Uh, with this, We just had a new moon yesterday, but really figuring out what makes you happy, what brings you peace, what is it that the divine is trying to tell you. Whatever that is, you're mastering that this week, Aquarius. Um, you're over the hurt. You're over the pain. You're over the tragedy of this relationship that you got out of. But you're just not quite sure if you're ready to get right back in one or in the same one again. You're just really... Um, Oh, this is so beautiful. Look at that. The high priestess again. So you're really figuring it out. Having the keys of success to your own inner being. Finding the correct uh, 
recipe for the perfect balance of light and dark. Your inner demons, your inner light, your inner, just everything about you is coming into balance. And that's all you've wanted. Look at this. Look at this. You know, you're, you're walking away from somebody who had a lot of secrets from you, who kept you in this juggling energy. You're following your inner guide and finding your self again. You lost yourself with this person. You lost who you really were, but you are finding that again after you um, let go of this heartache. And you're to that point now, Aquarius. You've made it through the tough times. Your heart is healed. You see the truth of the divine. You see the hope of a brand new um, a brand new day. And it's only going to bring you here in the outcome amazing things. Wheel of Fortune in the upright. Why is that here for Aquarius? Thank you. All right, the sun and the nine of wands. So you could um, be meeting a Sagittarius. You could have Sagittarius in your chart, or this is just going with the flow of life and allowing ups and downs to come in and leave without getting flubbed up. And it's bringing in positive things. The universe the, is giving you the opportunity to do what you want, to move in the direction that you want. This is your free will. This is you following your dreams, moving forward. And really just opening up communication with somebody, wanting to offer them that new passionate beginning. Um, and you very well possibly, now that you are out of this heartache, now that you have found yourself again, somebody could be reaching out to you or you reaching out to them, letting somebody know that, 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 uh, yeah, that you want to create. I just heard you want to create something with somebody. And it's going to bring you in a lot of money, Aquarius. That's what I just heard for that. You're going to reach out to somebody about creating something that you have always dreamed of creating. And it's going to bring you in that windfall of money with the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. You're no longer stressing out. You're no longer uh, crying over this person that is absent in your life or this person that hurt you in this life. Um, you're over it. You have... Well... You have really let that go. Why is the Nine of Swords here for Aquarius? This is such an empowering, beautiful, loving reading. It is amazing. Yeah, you allowed that cycle to end. You're not stressing out about it because you don't really give a shit anymore. You don't care. You put that behind you. You healed from it. You moved on. You learned your karmic lessons. You released all the anger, all of the sadness, all the hurt, all the guilt. You let it go. And look at how those Nine of Swords feel so freeing. Um, when you are in the world card completing cycles, some of you could be traveling as well. And your last outcome card here is temperance, finding that beautiful self healing, having patience, um, the, the patience it takes to find yourself as you have up to this point. And there you go. There's that ace of wands that I was just saying, somebody is getting a hold of you about this is bringing you in a brand new beginning. This is bringing you in somebody. Um, this could be a twin flame because as we know, we're on different healing paths. Aquarius, you have truly healed for those of you in this journey. You have truly healed. And now this new beginning with your twin flame is coming back. But for not everybody's in that relationship. So for those of you who are just separated or broke up with somebody, you've healed from it. You have new opportunities coming in. For those of you who are with a soulmate in separation, you have soulmates coming back. For those of you who just wish to remain single, you're just going to be rocking it and having opportunity after opportunity of creation of divine help coming in for you to bring you what it is that you um, have been hoping for. You are at a distance from somebody though for this group of you and that distance is closing in um, because your soulmate is coming back. Your twin flame is coming back. Your life partner is coming back or coming in for you. For some of you, you released somebody that was a shithead and now your true uh, soulmate is coming in and you have not met this person before because you have taken the time to heal and now divine timing is here for you. Aquarius, get ready for all this love and emotion and happiness. Oh my goodness, with the Ten of Pentacles. This, Aquarius, you have by far the best reading and there ain't nobody in here but yourself making this reading amazing. You don't need nobody to to bring you... You don't need anybody to raise your vibration. You are just on top of your game now. You are just... Wow. This is just so amazing. Let's get your cross watcher. 
see who that cross watcher is, see who is coming back in for you. Why is the moon here for Aquarius's cross watcher? All right. Wow. All right. So there's a deep passion that this person has for you. There could have been secrets in the past, uh, but that's all been released. That's all let go. Um, everybody knows the twin flame soulmate connection is a, a rough journey, but once you get over those lessons and move past it, all that is of the past and it's time to move forward. So this is a deep passion, a connection to the universe, unlike any other. And when I say that, I mean, this is a twin flame soulmate connection. Clarifying that, the king and queen of wands with the sun and the moon. Perfect match for me. When I get the sun clarifying the moon, that is uh, a divine partnership. And when I get the same um, suit coming out in the same uh, position, it is a divine connection. So you have an amazing partner coming in for you, Aquarius, who you're truly meant to be with. You did all this work and it's finally paying off. Um, use your intuition, follow your gut and <clears throat> lead where your heart may lead you because it's leading you to a balanced life, a just life, a one where karma repays you in the positive and bringing you even more blessings. A lot of major arcana there. Why is the Five of Cups here for Aquarius? Um, for you cross watchers, for Aquarius, you could have now been gotten divorced um, and you are coming back to the Aquarius. For those of you that that fits, um, you are finally allowing that other person to be released so you can move into who you're meant to be with and where you're meant to be. Why is the cross watcher have Five of Cups here in reverse? Thank you. Yeah, um, you had a lot of heartache as well, but you took the time to work on yourself. You were patient. You um, carefully planted your seeds of intention. You carefully decided where you wanted them planted. And now it's going to reap, you're going to reap the rewards of the hard work. Both of you have done a fabulous job. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for the Cross Watcher for Aquarius? Way too many. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for the Cross Watcher? To Aquarius. Thank you. All right. The nine of pentacles. Wow. So um, going with the flow, allowing the ups and downs once again to come in and leave. Um, this is really uh, taking the time uh, to allow the blessings in your life to reconstruct your whole self, investing in yourself. You could be going back to school. Um, for some of you, you're just graduating and starting out on a new path. Um, but this is really just uh, vibrating at a very, very high level because you're very confident. Good things are coming in for you. Things are just finally going your way. Have you ever noticed when you're having bad luck, your whole day seems shitty, but when you're having good luck, it just seems to roll. Well, that is exactly what you are going through, um, right now. With the Nine of Swords, no longer stressing out. you got it figured out. There's no confusion. You know who your past life soulmate is. You know who you're meant to be with. And you're letting the stress go. And you are reaching out to the Sagittarius. Or this Temperance, I mean. Well, it could be Sagittarius. you got a lot of fire here, Aquarius. You're most definitely with a fire sign, sun, moon, or rising. But Cross Watcher, uh, or Aquarius definitely has a fire sign in their life because look at all these fire sign cards. Amazing. So cross watcher, you're reaching out to this person. You have taken the time to heal as well. You have put in a lot of work into yourself, but you now realize who it is that you want to move forward with. Um, this is just absolutely amazing. So, uh, Cross watcher to Aquarius, you could be um, walking away from a Queen of Pentacles or somebody that you have a home with. This is somebody that you have built a life with in the past. You're walking away from there and very quickly with the uh, Knight of Cups in reverse, you no longer feel that love um, like you did. Uh, with the Ten of Cups in reverse, you have the Knight of Wands. So you're leaving quickly away from that Ten of Cups. Look at the uh, horse is walking away from the Ten of Cups and moving into your Aquarius's life. This you fire sign is leaving a situation that is emotionally draining and moving towards your Aquarius. Uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, you are going to come and offer this love to your Aquarius. Um, wow. 
yeah, this is a new beginning, Aquarius and Cross Watcher. This is a new beginning because this is going to turn into a relationship uh, that is very committed, very spiritual, very connected with your true, uh, true soulmate. Oh my goodness. Wow. Guys, this is absolutely amazing. This spiritual connection is coming together. It's looking great. This is a big, big week for you, Aquarius. The, the energy is finally shifting. Past life relationship is the bottom of your deck. Wedding flew out. So that's not too hard to figure out. Um, this is your soulmate. You guys both know it. You can both feel it. Um, and this is going to uh, result in a marriage. The two of you will come together um, and make this official for your cross watcher Aquarius or you. Um, it can go vice versa wherever your energy fits. Um, one of you is leaving a uh, marriage as well. So that's what you're waiting on. But this connection is no longer going to be in wait. Um, it is coming together very quickly. So congratulations, Aquarius. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful week for this group of you. So I hope you enjoy it and I will see you next time. God bless.